Do you see the difference between these two single leg RDLs? Let's talk about why that happened today. As a part of his rehab program for low back pain, I had Ricky perform single leg RDLs. And as you can see, it was much more difficult for him to perform this movement on his right leg. When looking from a different view, you can see he was unable to stabilize his pelvis as well in a right leg stance. The right side of his low back was also where his pain was found. I tried this simple hip strength test on his left side and he was able to easily hold his leg in the air while I pushed down. However, on his right side, his strength was not nearly as strong and I could easily push his leg back to the table. This test was designed to look at the glute medius, a small muscle on the side of your hip. While this muscle does help kick the leg out to the side, it also has an important job in maintaining pelvic stability. This means the pelvis opening up in the right leg stance more than the left was a compensation due to a poorly coordinated and weak lateral hip. I recommended that he start using a hip airplane exercise, rotating up and down, closing and opening the pelvis on a fixed leg to work on steering his strength about the hip. As you can see, it was pretty difficult. Toe pointed straight down, very good. Okay, now from there, drop the pelvis, turn your belly button towards the side, good. Back up. Very good. Control, control, control. Back down. Good. A cue that works for some is to put your hands on your pelvis to help feel for the desired movement as you can open and close. A few weeks later, he was showing great progress in this stability. Here's the before and after again, two weeks apart. Great job, Ricky. They say that. Energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching? So caught up in their egos, these people have lost.